scorn, 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 scorn. I'm a huge fan of Jeff Hassler, a man who seemingly styles himself off what he remembers from watching Rock of Ages in 2012, and Pat Parfrey, who I've previously viewed as about the most average player since Osprey's hero Jonathan Spratt retired, has had a weirdly brilliant run of form in his last few games, I don't understand it, but really, Canada are reliant on just two players, who teeter amazingly closely to world-class status. Tri-scoring machine, DTH van der Merwe, who scored in all four of Canada's games last time out, and captain and the nicest man in rugby himself. Tyler Ardron. Ardron has had a superb second season with the Chiefs and Super Rugby and shone still in every disappointing performance the team put in around him during this year's Pacific Nations Cup. If Canada were to do literally anything in this year's World Cup, expect Ardron to be at the heart of it. This may sound left field, but Tommaso Allen is, for me, amongst my players of the year so far. A man whose career started as an excuse for commentators to show off their knowledge of under-20s rugby has become an incredibly astute fly half. Allen's always had potential, but I worried like so many Italian tens before him, he would never be realised. However, Allen has become an excellent decision maker, shored up his running and passing game, and now kicks with an intelligence that makes you doubt he's either Scottish or Italian. Allen has been excellent this year, and for all the talk of Italy's magnificent back row with Parise playing in his last World Cup and Pelledri and Negri in their first, Allen will be the one running whatever kind of show Italy end up putting on. Namibia's odds on winning the competition are the longest of all, at 75 thousand to one. And yet, that still somehow feels quite generous. Namibia are stumbling into this World Cup with a squad more than good enough to beat any other African side in qualifying, but they'll struggle a bit when faced with the All Blacks. Especially with their go-to standout, Ronaldo Bofma, retiring mysteriously a few weeks before the competition order to focus on playing for Harlequins in a move that suggests absolutely no financial motivation at all. However, I'd point to Damien Stevens, who is a very quick boy, lingering at scrum half, about to play in his second World Cup at the age of just 24. He looked exceptionally lively early this year, and Namibia have the backup also of Eugene Yankees, who once himself a young scrum half Tyro in 2007, and is now headed towards his fourth World Cup, completing the circle of life, which is especially relevant since the pair of them are likely to get eaten alive unless Namibia's true best player, a sudden typhoon that causes many games to get called off resulting in them being considered a draw, doesn't make an appearance. Two-time player of the year. The all-time top try-scoring fly half. One of the most dangerous players in the world, undoubtedly, and a depressingly humble family man who puts his wife first to such a degree he willingly signed for the Blues for her. And yet, Bowden Barrett is the key player for New Zealand, for more reasons than his obvious thrill-seeking highlight package. Ever since their dramatic loss to South Africa last year, in which Barrett showed he has no idea how to score a drop goal, the All Blacks have been desperately trying to work out a way round his shortcomings. Do they force him to play against his instincts? Do they put all the game management on the scrum half shoulder? Do they pay Richie Mwanga at first five and slide him to fullback? Do they go full Fiji and just run everything? Considering he's facing three teams not exactly renowned for their defence, Barrett should be fun to watch at this year's World Cup, but it's how he navigates the game to requiring a more screwed on head that makes him truly the most fascinating player in Japan this autumn. It's simple as this, Malcolm Marks on a good day is amongst the best rugby players on the planet. As far as marks as go, he combines the humble for the greater good the greater workmanship good. of Carl with the dexterity and physical wit of Groucho and Gummo. And yet, Malcolm Marks so far this year has not been entirely on good days. This isn't to say he's been bad, not, not at all, but whereas he's normally possibly the best player on the park, lately he's just been a player on the park. As far as days go, we're talking... Thursday, not Monday, but he's usually a Saturday of a player. If South Africa are to go all the way like they could do, they'll need marks to snap out of his Sunday slumber and explode into life. I'm currently in Yokohama Park. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing some drunker Kiwis try and do that on Saturday. Uh, it turns out Yokohama is just Birmingham. It's just Birmingham, but slightly more Japanese. Um, this is the site of where South Africa will play New Zealand in five days time. We're very, very close to the start of the Rugby World Cup kicking off. Um, so there will be two more of these videos, two more running through the pools themselves, running through the teams, the individual players that will be playing in this year's World Cup that you want to keep an eye on. Um, as such, that will be coming in the next two days. And then there's a live stream coming, as well as in no side, Tokyo's one rugby bar. We'll do a meet up there at seven, eight o'clock ish. I'll tweet an exact time on the day. I'll see you there. In the meantime, just over my shoulder, there's some, there's some trees, you can't see it. Um, it's the Yokohama Stadium. There's a little park in front of the stadium where, in five days' time, 
the All Blacks play the Springboks, and I may see some of you there. We're very close now. Oh, by the way, the Find a Player app's great. Um, if you really want to waste that few days by playing baseball, because there's currently uh, the stadium here is the home to the Bays, who are a Japanese baseball team. Uh, they're currently playing an away game, and you can watch it in the park just over there. Here you are. What a moment. I've rambled for far too long at this point. I'm going to stop talking right now and let you go about your day. Bye.